is a huge issue in almost every house that I visit. So this week's Hug Your Home Challenge, we're tackling paper clutter for good. Just like always, there's a printable checklist that you can download and I'm gonna put the link down below. <laughs> to do is create an action file in your home. This is a place where you put incoming mail, you put things that need to be read, things that need to be paid, paper that you have to deal with immediately. That's called either a command center or an action file. Next, we're creating a short-term paper filing system. This is like my biggest pet peeve. People will pay a bill, they'll, they'll, they'll deal with their paper, and then they put it in a filing cabinet where it goes to die forever. Do not put all of your papers in a filing cabinet. We're gonna talk about what that's used for later. A short-term filing system is just for the papers that you do not need to keep forever. Paid bills, monthly statements, tax information that you have to file at tax time. A short-term filing system is where those papers go after they leave your action file. If you're a detailed organizer, I love using an accordion file folder for your short-term system, but if you need fast and simple, just a simple basket or a bin where you can toss all your short-term papers in and deal with them at tax time totally works too. Next, it's time to set up a long-term filing system. So this is, of course, either a file box or a filing cabinet. And the only thing allowed in here, the only thing allowed in your long-term system are papers you wanna keep forever. So those are contracts, your tax information. I know it's only seven years, but pretend it's forever. Things that you wanna keep long term, not your monthly statements, not paid bills, not things that you don't need forever, just contracts. I'm going to put a link down below to a printable so you can see exactly what papers are different. It's important to have two systems because listen, we're going to live for like another 40, 50, 60 years. I don't know how old you are, but imagine if you were keeping every piece of paper that came in your house in a long-term system. It would be crazy full. You'd have like 17 file gaps. Cabinets. You don't need that. That's why it's so important that the only things that we're keeping in our long term are the things we're keeping forever. Next, I want you to set up a household management binder or other binders for those papers that you deal with and access on a regular basis. So these are things you probably do want to keep forever, but not necessarily in a filing cabinet like your emergency contact information or I don't know. I don't know what your papers look like, but I know what my papers look like. I have schedules and other things that I'm dealing with on a regular basis, but not every single day. So it's kind of like in between an action file and a short term, long term. Use some binders. Use some binders for those papers you don't know where else to put. I put sticky notes all over mine so you don't see my personal information, but this is where I keep the papers that I access from time to time, so I don't want them in a filing cabinet, but there's emergency contact, there's phone numbers, there's coupons, there's takeout recipes, there's birthdays of friends and family, my kids' school information, calendars, schedules, that paper clutter that's all over your fridge, that's what goes in a household management binder. And I also have a meal planning binder and I have a binder for our important financial information and passwords. The type of stuff you don't necessarily wanna keep in a filing cabinet is perfect to go in a binder. Last but not least, I want you to shred your faces off. It's time to shred old bills that have been paid, monthly statements from your bank, all of those papers that you do not need. And a lot of people have extreme anxiety about getting rid of paper. But when is the last time you looked at an old electricity bill or your, I don't know, property tax bill from 2008? Why are you keeping them? You do not need them. It is time to get a shredder, use it often, and let all of that old paper clutter go. So thanks so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video for why? We don't know, but do it anyways and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. This is my tired face. This is the face of someone who doesn't get enough sleep and here is why. I have an addictive personality. It doesn't matter what, I'm addicted to 
all the things, which is why I avoid like the bad things that you can be addicted to. Not food. I don't avoid that. I avoid like alcohol, drugs, things that I could like because I'd want them all, you know? So I just, I don't put myself in that situation. But I've recently had a slight addiction to a game called Fortnite. And I'm a, I'm a middle-aged woman. So why am I playing Fortnite? Here's why. Because my son is six and he wanted to play Fortnite and being the good, responsible parent that I am, I was like, I better play it with you to make sure there's not like blood and guts and swearing and like bad stuff because that's a parenting job. And I played it once with him and now I'm hooked. And after he goes to bed and my kids go to bed, I play freaking Fortnite till like three in the morning. It's, it's a problem. I suck. I suck so hard and yet I can't stop and hopefully I replace this with a new addiction soon so I can stop the video game addiction. Maybe, I don't know, it was Netflix. It's always something. Let me know your crazy addictions in the comments below and I'll see you next time.